Back now with day one of the 2022 legislative session in Richmond. A lot on the plate of lawmakers, including a new administration to debate the issues with. As you'd expect, there are plenty of issues to talk about and not a lot of time to get it done. So what's on the priority list for our delegates and senators? 10 on your side's Andy Fox has the story. We are in the Hall of Presidents here at the State Capitol. President Tyler, the 10th president, Republicans control the House of Delegates. Democrats control the state Senate. What are the big issues this General Assembly session? Democrats are worried. Republicans are bent on turning back initiatives Democrats made over the last two years. Delegate Cliff Hayes. Well, just the mere fact that you want to uh, take away early voting. It is true. Republicans introduced bills to cut early voting from 45 days to two weeks or less. Being able to vote early and not have our elderly citizens standing in long lines in the cold. And Republicans want to reinstate the photo ID requirement in order to vote. Top of my list is just have a voter ID like we have an ID for anything we do in this life. We will fight vigorously against anything that even remotely resembles rolling that back. Another verbally combative issue could be education. House Republicans looking to reinstate schools reporting any student misdemeanor on school grounds to police. Newly elected Republican delegate Ann Farrell Tata supports that. I was very, very disheartened when I when I heard that that a principal was up to the principal to decide whether they were going to report an assault. Calling the police on on these little kids for kicking the trash can, et cetera, starting them down a path of being on the school to prison pipeline. And we end with President George Washington, the man who began it all here in the Hall of Presidents. He's from Virginia too. A new governor takes the oath of office on Saturday. Republicans hopeful for significant change. Democrats cautiously optimistic and concerned. We'll have to see how it all plays out. In Richmond, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.